Okay, welcome back to our attempt of making a modern looking app using WPF and modapps.metro. If you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I just share what I've learned along the way and what I learned on the side. I think, well, I should share with you guys and maybe some of you can benefit uh, from learning this as well. And yeah, if that sounds fun, that sounds good, feel free to subscribe. And also for this particular project, I am putting all of my code on GitHub. Each video is going to be its own tag. So if I look at the tags, we only have the title bar and border, which was the last video. And then this video, we expect to talk about the status bar. We're going to add a status bar to the bottom of our application. I have an idea of what I want it to say, and then we'll do some basic binding to it. So the GitHub link will be down below if you're lost and want to see exactly what I did. So back in the application, I'm just going to remove this stack panel right here. And I'm going to add some grid row definitions. And our first row definition is just going to be uh, the whole application. So I'm just going to say height is equal to um, a star, because I just want it to take up the remaining space. And then at the bottom, I want to have a row definition of height, um, I don't know, maybe 20 pixels. And that will look like this. We see this blue line now at the bottom. And that's where I want the status bar to go. And basically what I want the status bar to do, at least in my head for now, I want it to show the user how much they have remaining this month in their budget. It just might be a nice little way to quickly see how much you have left to spend without having to change views. And let's just add that status bar. And inside of the status bar, we want a status bar item. In this first status bar item, I'm going to say remaining monthly budget. I'm going to make the font size uh, 18. And then I'm going to add another status bar item. And inside of this, we're actually going to put a text block. And the reason for that is I'm going to bind to this text block. And the text is, well, let's just hard code it for now. Let's say, um, $1,600 is our remaining, just so we can get an idea of what this will look like. And then also I'm going to give it a font size of 18. I can see in the previewer on the left, one thing I forgot to do is tell the status bar where to go. So we actually want it in grid row one, um, not zero, we want it down here. Okay, and everything doesn't look okay. The status bar looks like it's a little too small. So let's change it from 20 pixels to like 26. And I'll save and see if that looks any better. Kind of does. Maybe I should change the font size as well to 16 instead of 18. Still close. Maybe up this a couple more pixels and just play around with it. There, that looks better because we can see the whole G now. Just play around with it until everything neatly fits in the status bar. And everything looks good here. Now on the code behind, what I wanna do is I want to bind to this value because of course this value is going to change as people add expenses over time. So I'm gonna remove the text and before I put the binding uh, expression here, let's go ahead and I guess I gotta stop the application. Let's add to the code behind a public string and I'm gonna call this remaining uh, balance and I'm gonna give it getters and setters and then in the initialize component, we're going to change this in the future, how this gets the value. Um, but for now, I just want to create a double called balance and I'm going to give it a value of 1600. And now let's make the value of remaining balance equal to this formatted string and say it is the dollar sign and then the value of um, balance. So when this is initialized, it's going to say, okay, balance is 1600. And then we're going to make a string out of this and put a dollar sign in front of it. And lastly, let's set the data context equal to this class. And now I'll just copy the name of this property. And we'll just say here, the text is going to be binding. And the value that we're binding is remaining balance. Just a quick little way to bind that value. And now if we start, we can see the remaining monthly budget uh, that we set is $1,600. Cool, so I think this looks pretty good. Now, I think the next step is to get some input from the user so they can start creating their budget um, 
telling how much they want to spend each month or how much they can spend and maybe add some expenses. Maybe we'll hook up a database and just go from there. That's the status bar and I hope to see you in the next video.